ba 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 dum ba da ba ba da ba ba. This is the fucking news with your host. Uh, I don't know. So this is the uh, super special regular episode. Uh, post-election coverage. We're sitting here right now where it looks like Nick, Nick. Hillary Clinton is the new president <laughs> of the United uh, States. Yes, a queen. We're, we're recording this uh, 100% live. So this, this is, is my in fight real time. song. It's in no I'm way a uh, pre-recorded <laughs> episode. And you know what? I'm just so... I'm with her, dude. I've been with her the entire time. And you know what? We knew that we were going to beat these fucking... These bros in yeah. uh, yeah. the country. All these racist-ass... Fu- these mayo ass crack of white. <laughs> Boys. It's not their country we no we, more. We told them. We told them that uh, uh, all the POC women, who are statistically six percent of the United States population, <laughs> were gonna uh, we're gonna do it. We're gonna our, we're gonna make our voices heard, and yeah. we're gonna get uh, yes queen into the White House. And we did it. We one hundred percent did it. Um, Feels good. Yeah. yeah, folks, that's what we would be saying if we actually did pre-record this podcast like a bunch of frauds. Um, yeah, we really uh, shit the bed because we only prepared pro Hillary. Uh, yeah, she won uh, stuff. Yeah, exactly. We uh, like Hillary. We didn't even prepare a concession, <laughs> <laughs> so we needed the next eight and a half hours to pout in the cryo chamber that's keeping us alive in her Michael Jackson yeah. <laughs> in her, in bubble her zero gravity fucking iron lung that she lives. in. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Fuck, man. So we're. Uh, and she's like, you know, when she she sleeps in that thing from. Uh, remember in Big Lebowski, mm-hmm. when the, the writer, that guy that wrote for Branded. Yeah, the Iron Lung. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. Listen, let me tell you something. I don't like liars, and if he doesn't throw her in jail, we should impeach her. <laughs> that's what I'm saying, dude. We I think that's why he's going to get impeached for not <laughs> for not for throwing not her having in jail. Hillary Clinton uh, placed on the National Mall. Mm-hmm. And this is actually my idea of his plan to uh, to win back uh, uh-huh. you know America's economic power from China mm-hmm. is he's going to sell tickets to Chinese uh, you know wealthy Chinese you, mm-hmm. I don't even know how you get wealthy in China. Sh- karate? Chinese. Yeah, 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 yeah. Karate. Yeah, yeah. You have to start uh, a dojo. All the, all the karate billionaires yeah. in China are, are going to buy tickets to watch Hillary Clinton get murdered on the National Mall. She, he enters her into a kumite, yeah, 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 and yeah. they get the chance to fight yeah. her. Okay, USA. Uh, no, I think it's going to be a brave Tiananmen-style standoff where Hillary stands alone in front of a he's tank. He's just on a tank mm-hmm. waving to people <laughs> while he's slowly about to run her over. And he's going to slowly crush yeah, <laughs> with a tank. I would like to see her get shot. <laughs> Jesus, <laughs> shot. by a Christ. firing squad. You know, in a classy way. <laughs> okay, she still gets right. suit. <laughs> it would be that would be a good end. Um, yeah, it's fucking. So, how? And then, how? And, then, and then Obama agrees with Trump for doing it. <laughs> And then he brings jobs back to the country, and yeah. uh, well, that's what we were saying. What if he's just great? What if he was right? Okay, first of all, he's not going to do anything. Mike, Mike, gay pizza pants is going to be the president. Mm, I know. He's gonna he when he uh, offered John Kasich the Veep position, he was like, "You're going to be in charge of foreign policy and domestic policy." <laughs> and then he's like, "So what are you going to do, Donald?" He's like, "I'm going to make America great again." Yeah. You know, so like he basically he's barely literate. He can he can't read. He are has no tums? hobbies. Are these tums? Those are tums. Right, Stop just ate a tum like a candy. Yeah, do that. I was my blood sugar <laughs> was low. It was a candy. <laughs> what it was, bitch. I had a whole bo- uh, bag of chocolate covered pretzels for lunch. Oh, Man, yeah. I had the best sandwich last night, but it had jalapenos in it. And this morning, I fucking your asshole was. You know, like everyone else in America, I woke up and I just, I felt like this can't be real. (laughs) All right. I have to have diarrhea this fucking bad (laughs) from this jalapeno. What kind of sandwich was it? Oh, some big turkey and cheese. Ah, get turkey out of here, man. Fuck turkey. Turkey and ham. All of Turkey's great. You're a fucking idiot. No, I like a little damn salami, bitch. Yeah. Anyway, they have majorities <laughs> in the House and Senate. They're going to repeal he, basically any legislative accomplishment of Barack Obama had. What very few ones he had, which are basically Dodd Frank and Obamacare, those are going to yeah. be gone the first six months. Yeah. Uh, well, Obamacare is already imploding. So, yeah. I mean, it's fine. I, I, yeah, I, it's like been such a fucking disaster, and it was hopefully they, uh, uh, they could have used that disaster and be like, "Oh, this is someone else's fault," and get single payer. But that wasn't going to happen. Do you nope. think Hillary wouldn't have made single payer? Well, happen? she wouldn't Who have knows? been able to make it happen. The yeah, Congress she wouldn't anyway. Have. So it doesn't matter. I mean, I went to go buy a fucking uh, uh, policy yesterday or two days ago, and they just don't offer platinum plans where I live. 
like five star rating. in your neighborhood. Yeah, no, I just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder what what demographic reasons that's for. Yeah. Um, um, geez, Louise, <clears throat> too much heart disease in your neighborhood. Yeah, I don't yeah. know, man. Uh, it's fu- Can we even do an irony, an ironically <laughs> racist podcast? Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> the Apprentice guy is the president. Yeah, of course we can. This is our don't time. No fucking. This is our fucking moment, guys. We did it. This is Comtown's fault. We were the only ones that actually predicted it. Yeah. Um, although I, I said it, and everyone laughed at me. I'm like, he could win. Yeah. Yeah. Because that's the thing is like, you know, think about all the time. Maybe it happens to me more than anybody else. But like somebody will message me or pull me aside and they'll be like, yeah, I mean, I agree with these whores, but Jesus Christ. You know? <laughs> it happens all the fucking time. Behind closed doors, it's, you know. Yeah. People that are like, I mean, I agree with this ostensibly, but really? Like I'm a rapist for not going to see the Ghostbusters movie? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and those are the people that voted the way you wanted them to. Like, what do you think? Like, some guy in the middle of fucking Pennsylvania is like going to just sit there and read all day long? No, the biggest, well, piece of I don't. Shit know. I, think, world, I think and not develop some kind of voted, some kind of identity. Well, okay, I don't think it was only because of identity politics and fucking. Yeah, I, I, can't, I can't believe I don't think so either. I think but. a lot of people lost their job in the fucking Rust Belt in the nineties because of NAFTA, and they supported Bernie but, in the primaries, but, and they on. couldn't in good conscience. Yeah, no, I feel Hillary. like Bernie would have won. What about? And I think he would have. And, and you can't really make an argument saying that. That's what I want to ask ask somebody, guys. Push a T and Beyonce though. Shouldn't those guys have swayed? Yeah, white guys in Pennsylvania. Well, that no, are broken shit. whatever goodwill they might have caused was completely destroyed by Lena Dunham's rap song. <laughs> yeah, it's what her fault. Fucking, it's what, her a, fucking what a brain! Fault. What a brain dead moron! She I released know. that rap song, and then did you see that uh, HuffPo article where she's like? You know, I just like thought the idea was so funny of like this like out of touch white girl. Oh, I saw that. Yeah, 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 yeah. And it's like what the fuck. <laughs> That's- you, you dumb yeah, rich yeah, asshole! Yeah. It's fucking the only yeah. good thing. Is it's that like it really is like a, like if you walked into a locker room, like you're in high school and you walk into a locker room and your friend is like on his knees blowing another another guy you know, and he's like, "Hey, hey Mike, this is you, dude. <laughs> this is you, just sucking the dick as hard as you can. You're fucking gay, dude. This is what you dude, do." I don't want to. I don't want to venture into misogyny or violence against women, but I hope Lena Dunham dies. So. Yeah. Well, she uh, she has she, to leave the country. I hope she leaves. Yeah. I hope she goes to fucking Canada and you terrorize she will? them. She should also be shot. Hillary, <laughs> Hillary on the National Mall in a pantsuit, and then Lena Dunham completely naked with a burrito shoved in her pussy. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> okay, so what's the what's the silver lining in all this? There are a lot of those people... <clears throat> Legalize it in Boston, baby. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, that's, that was the best... That was the best shit on Twitter. I know. <laughs> He's the fucking dude, Tommy Chong. <laughs> <laughs> like, we fucking did it, man. <laughs> well, yeah, man. People were crying. Yeah. Like, yeah. Children be like... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But honestly, man, it's not going to be... <laughs> it's not going to be that fucking bad. It'll be bad. Yes, it will be. It's crazy, though, That's, dude. You realize, like, half the country be. was saying that when Obama was elected. They thought he was the fucking idiot. Yeah, but yeah, they're idiots. But Obama no, wasn't be. bad. Trump is a fucking two crazy Supreme motherfucker. Court picks. Ruth Bader Ginsburg is going like to fucking 60, die. Hold on, Ruthie, baby. She can't stay awake during a state of the union. to fucking secede. Huh? What? Sixty percent of like Texas wanted to secede. Yeah, in but the, there was just Obama. Good. They just believe that because they're fucking retards. Well, because he's Trump. Black. Yeah, and Trump is not like because a of anything crazy Obama motherfucker. Said. And dude, dude, Rudy Giuliani's like it's not just Trump. Everyone Trump like Newt Gingrich is gonna be Secretary of State. Yeah. Or ben some Carson, shit. Secretary yeah. of Education. Ben yeah. One of the stupid. Like, how can you be that yeah, good I at brain it. surgery and just a fucking moron at Baltimore, the same time? Dude. He was Baltimore. Be more, dude. Yeah, gifted hands. Baltimore. Gifted no, he's not from there. I bitch. was trying to remember. He studied at Hopkins, though, right? Yeah, he's from. He went to yeah. Hopkins, and then he I was stayed. trying to remember the name of his book one time, and I couldn't remember it. And the first thing that popped in my head was, uh, "If these hands could eat pussy." <laughs> <laughs> the Ben Carson yeah, story. The ben Carson story. <laughs> oh fuck, dude! Um, I she sucked my dick. I don't, I don't know, know how it happened. Can we talk for a second about how comedy is going to probably suck for the next four years? Whatever, man. Yeah, I already, I, yeah, I, I addressed you tweeted that, on, that on Facebook. Yeah, because it's like people are like, oh, well, at least there'll be a lot to joke about. It's like, no. first of all, you're not fucking funny. Yes. Yeah. You don't know how to joke about anything. You know, this is just going to be, uh, it's going to be four years of you being like, guys, 
the president is bad. <laughs> okay? You know, we got to do something about this here at Over the Eight. Uh, open mic. Oh, I'm out of time? Okay. Well, I guess back to my uh, dog walking job where I make a difference. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I don't know, dude. We're fucked. Who cares? But honestly... Fuck the DNC. Mm-hmm. Fuck oh, Hillary. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Fuck all of those old, old guard 92 James Carville new yep. Democrat fucking pussies. That's yeah, all they are. Get it. They're fucking pussies. Go off, pussies. bitch. <laughs> Hell yeah, bitch. It's my time. Go off. <laughs> all right. Dude, I'm just fuck them all. They need to go away, and we need new people. And uh, Tulsi Gabbard is the one I think. Who? Who's she's, that? She surfs. She surfs. She, she used she to be in the troops. Oh, nice. I'm yeah. in. And she's Buddhist. Tulsi 2069. 20, 2020. Tulsi. 2020. Uh, but, 20, oh, 20, yeah. 20. And anyone that's saying Michelle 2020 needs to fucking walk into the ocean. <laughs> I know. Dude. Well, that was, that was the best part of the last, like, month or two. Have they not learned although, their lesson? Although, it uh, would uh, be uh, funny. The rise, the rise of, like, uh, uh, Michelle... Uh, uh, fan fiction oh, on, yeah. on Twitter yeah, yeah, yeah. with the Sadie Doyle types. It's like uh, Michelle right now pulling Obama aside. Now, now it's my turn. Yeah, I'm exactly. next or whatever. Shut up. And they like have sex. This, yeah, this, this, yeah. Like, what are you doing? No, there was right? one. That, I saw a having... tweet that was like, it sounded like she was about to fuck him in the ass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Someone made a joke about that. Well, know. it's just like those women. Just like <sighs> I voted for the Hillary. Actual, by the way, the actual you fi- voted yeah, for Hillary. Yeah, yeah, the yeah. actual fan fiction isn't even about Michelle being at politics. It's like them be it's two people in a relationship yeah it's like michelle has someone who loves her yeah like that's what they're actually fantasizing at home about. masturbating the idea <laughs> yeah. of hillary pegging bill yeah. as, uh, an eight, eight, uh, 982 year old man yeah. taking a fake dick in his ass strapped to both of their pelvises would snap <laughs> now nah, bill still fucks that. dude I mean, I'm I sure he gets his dick vegan. sucked by children on that plane. <laughs> on Podesta's plane. Like, it's, I, literally, uh, he's not even a pedophile. Yeah, dude, what if Trump he's not happened? even a pedophile. It's just your your dick can only handle a child's mouth. What if Trump age. catches the case for fucking that kid? Dude, isn't it sad? I don't think so. Have you, you don't think have so? Have you paid attention to well, that? I think it's, it's statute get of limitations, out. right? No, it's just like a bullshit thing. It's not true. But hold yeah, on. I, from you what I've read. Because that's the thing. It would be a much bigger story. Look how big pussy grabbing was. Yeah, of course. If Donald Donald Trump had actually, if there was any credence to that story, that would be a huge fucking story. No one had a tape of him saying the N-word? Nowhere? I have I it. So. But yeah. I haven't. I'm Why didn't you release it, you piece I'm, of I'm not, shit? It was a private, it was yeah. a private voicemail. Uh, uh, friend, 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 client privilege. <laughs> um, do you guys think... <laughs> best, best friend, best yeah, friend yeah. privilege. Yeah. <laughs> do you guys think in like a back room of the Javits Center, there's just like... 12 seven year olds that didn't get fucked because they're like the celebratory kids everyone was gonna suck off oh my mm. god <laughs> like, they're like yeah. well I can't we can't fuck yeah, these yeah, kids yeah. it's like oh it's a shame they're gonna go yeah, to waste it's like, I, I can't even get hard right now yeah. <laughs> let's just stop trying Michael <laughs> just stop trying Michael <laughs> 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 yeah, 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 yeah. here's a lesson for us I can't even fit it in him <laughs> I think Trump oh, I wish there was a secret code for this <laughs> John, get the list. Get the email I sent yeah, from my other secret account, uh, jpodesta at yahoo.geocities.virus. Yeah, what's the code for when your dick is so limp from blowing the election? Risotto. You can't, put it, you can't put it in a two-year-old. My safe word is risotto. Uh, uh, fuck fuck man. him. Fuck all of them. They need to fucking go away and never come back ever again. Feel the damn ass burn. Yeah. He like, would have yeah, fucking like, won. In hindsight, it's like, Hillary was like the worst fuck. Everyone she hated sucked. her. She sucked. She didn't. We that's, knew they that's hated the her <laughs> before when the primary was going on. Yeah. There was this no way she was going to impress everyone. She's like, I got the next four months to teach everyone how cool I am. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, yeah they were like, they've hated me for plan. 30 years. I'm, I'm just chilling in Cedar Rapids. That should have been a fucking immediate it should have been more that should that's the biggest red that's a flag. howard dean yelp that's that the biggest been, red flag is that i'm just chilling in cedar rapids it just, she's never gonna pull it off it's yeah. never gonna fucking happen and really when it what it comes down to and, and these, these fucking idiots can't even figure it out is it's so simple it's a fucking popularity contest yeah bill clinton was cool george bush convinced people he was cool obama convinced george people bush he was is cool. cool he's pretty he's, and you know what? he's a war criminal donald, but he's yeah, cool. yeah, yeah. donald yeah. trump is cool donald trump is cool donald yeah. trump is funny as shit they're like, oh, you know, he has a small hands and a shitty body. He has fucked so many more hot women than you. Yeah, so That's never that the story. Who's that journalist he, like, fucking called on the phone because they criticized him? And he's like, 
I get more pussy than you do. Because <laughs> the guy criticized him. And like fucking... And then he sent him a letter he wrote in a gold marker. Oh, fuck. He's cool, dude. They yeah, need this sucks. They need to, they <laughs> need to find <laughs> one yeah. cool Democrat in the next four years. I don't know if it's even possible. Who? Tulsi. Dude. Oh, yeah, Tulsi, our girl. Yeah. Martin O'Malley. Get, get O'Malley yeah. back in. Well, he's... Re- O'Malley fucks. He, yeah, but he O'Malley's not... Guitar. O'Malley's too, like... No, he's, he's retarded. He's like a... Yeah, yeah he's, he's... He's straight up retarded. He's, he's like... Uh, 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 no, he sucks, yeah. He was the... He was he's the governor. like almost like socially impotent, where right, he could right, be right. cool, but he's just so fucking boring. On paper, he's cool. He's like he's like the asshole, the SGA kid who's like, oh, I'm mm-hmm. the fucking, I'm cool like everyone else. Well, he's cool in the way that like there's be like a you like meet somebody and they seem like they're objectively cooler than you, but they're like wow, like they're impressed by you and you lose respect for them. Right, 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 right. Because yeah. they shouldn't be. Right, right, right. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. He does. Uh, yeah, yeah, I don't know who we got. I don't know. Dude. I think it's like it, the most important thing right now is just to reiterate over and over and over again that Bernie would have won, whether it's true or not. <laughs> it's because true. It, it, it. First of all, it is true. Would have won. But even if it's not true, mm-hmm. it, they're going to immediate. I mean, they're already they're already done it. First, it was uh, Gary John. And fucking, you know, claiming claiming uh, 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 voter suppression, like black voter suppression, even though she had like what fifteen percent turnout in Florida. Right. Oh, it was atrocious. Oh, oh, and also Gary Johnson gave her four states yesterday. Right, right, right. Yeah, yeah. she would have gotten her ass kicked even worse yeah. in Colorado, Nevada. That would have been so embarrassing. Uh, Minnesota, yeah. and there's no. One there were more. people literally adding his votes to her votes, as if it makes everyone no sense. who voted for me. Yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> it's like, have you yeah. met any libertarians? Yeah, 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 yeah. They're not. <laughs> <laughs> They're not Democrats. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, or, well, it's not Jill Stein's fault either. No. And, and it's not fucking uh, 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 cracker-ass, mayo-ass white boys. She was an awful yeah. candidate, and Hillary, we've been saying it. Hillary fucking Cumbin. sucked. <laughs> and yeah, no, here's the thing. If, uh, you know, even if you could make an argument as to why Bernie wouldn't have won, you have evidence now that Hillary wouldn't. That's yeah, objective just, fact. She, she just, fucking she loses lose. to Donald Trump in the matchup. And I love that the argument was electability. Yeah, that of was course. the argument. Oh, of course, no, Hillary's more electable. Yeah. Yeah. that's why. Oh. So, and then here's the question: If oh, you, if great. you meet somebody that says that they would, you know, uh, that oh no, Bernie is not electable, knowing now what you know that Hillary Clinton can't beat Donald Trump, would you go back if you had the opportunity to and vote for Bernie Sanders in the primary? No, because it's it's violence against women. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Because you got so wrapped up in your bullshit fucking identity politics and white men are bad no matter what that even when you have a more progressive one, yes, we still have to vote for the woman. Even though she's a shittier candidate right, right, and she's right. going to lose, you would blow the election just to vote for a woman. Yeah. Because it's important to you to have your selfie with, you know, in the voting booth and talking about was- the first time I saw Little Mermaid, I knew... <laughs> <laughs> it was I said, that was the worst shit too. When it's like fucking all these like I like I just can't wait till I can tell my daughter that she could be president one day. It's like well, you just don't now. Well, she can't. You're fucking your father, and you're at home, and your daughter's like, "Daddy, can I be president one day?" And you're like. No, Sarah. <laughs> I, told, I told you. Until yes, Bay Queen Hillary is in office. You shut the fuck up. You have zero aspirations. It's a man's world. It was funny with the Instagram algorithm being fucked up, where it doesn't just show you like chronologically yeah, what happens. Yeah, it's not a it's that, timeline. That, anymore, like yeah. that. Yes, last night you were, and this morning you were just seeing like all that happy. Yeah, 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 happy. Like can't wait till our first woman president. Yeah. I was just like, oh my god. My mother queefed me out of her cunt 12, 21 years ago. And now... The queef-cunt combo. Yeah. yeah. She queefed me out of her cunt. And now we are wearing pantsuits together yeah. for Hill Queen. But, you know, I mean, no matter what, it's going to get worse in terms of, like, uh, the cultural shit that bothers me that, you know, Trump did run on that fucking yeah. you know, did help him. But it's just going to get Racism? worse. Racism? Not not racism. Dog whistle I racism. Mean, I mean, call it dog whistle racism if you want, but like push back against, and then to, you. I mean, you can't even use political correctness or even the term like SJW anymore because then you're immediately lumped in with like alt right guys or Nazis. Hundred percent. There's something to be fucking said about the people that have actively tried to destroy comedy over the last six years, <laughs> yeah. six seven years, and they did. They have. Comedy has gotten objectively shittier. Yeah, no, comedy is just good points now. Yeah. The yeah. Daily Show fucking sucks. sucks. Yeah. It is an awful fucking show. 
it's so fucking bad, and it pales in comparison to what uh, uh, you know. Even the other spinoff shows are right, 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 right. You know, yeah. Colbert yeah. is a better show. Right, Samantha B is a better show. The the old the Daily Colbert Sh- show was the best one out of for all sure, of them. for sure. I mean, it was the only time America's ever done satire really that well. We're not that good at it. I like am. They're much better in I England. fucking am, dude. Nicole <laughs> Mullen. Great at it. Nicole Mullen. Even and, this uh, right now, you can't tell whether I'm being serious or not. You have no fucking. If you idea disa- whatever you're disagreeing with is satire, and whatever you agree with is us being yeah. real. Yeah. You fucking retard. <laughs> that mean that? Who knows? This is satire. Who knows? Uh, I think it's important that we go back to and address the. Uh, the post from that woman who wanted her Down syndrome son. Oh, oh yes. Yeah. <laughs> Thank God. Yeah. You know, when, when God closes a window, i.e. Yeah. Tom Myers being when able God to closes eat a window, Hillary's pussy yeah. and live his dream, he, he he's opens opened a, door a by beautiful door. Creating of, a boy with Down syndrome. <laughs> <laughs> who really wants to tell Trump, uh, Hillary and Obama yeah. that they're fired. I also, I guarantee you, I fucking guarantee you that Donald Trump got 100% of the Down syndrome vote. <laughs> BB no BB was pro hundred percent. BB went hard for Trump. He's, really? not, yeah. he's not Down syndrome, but yeah, yeah BB he's went something. hard. He's Trump. got neurofibromatosis. Yeah, yeah, that's what he has. Yeah, yeah. which means his body just produces stones under his skin. Oh, really? Like yeah, no, it's fucked up. Jesus he just, Christ! He's like, well, everybody, I'm making another video. Reminder that I live in constant pain. <laughs> Happy birthday to Sarah. <laughs> Jesus. I saw a bus earlier. Well, off to the doctor to get part of my brain removed. <laughs> he loves the bus. God yeah. damn, that sucks. Anyway, let's read the post again. Let's uh, I'm having trouble finding it. What were you saying, though? It's not, what, you were saying that the Trump speech there was, he, at the Trump's headquarters. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Did you watch that when he's making you his acceptance speech? You told me last speech? night. Hold on. That there was a, I didn't tell you. When he's making his acceptance speech, the Nazi thing? No, not the Nazi thing. That was at some party. Oh, well, that Shirley was thing? at, which we have to talk about in a second. Oh yeah, I for, yeah, yeah, yeah. Fucking piece of fucking shit! <laughs> I'll kick your ass. You know what? It's you know what's so funny about him is I kind of wanted him on. I don't even like. I didn't understand why everyone was mad about that price increase. I mean, I understand what he did was shitty, but it just seemed like an inordinate amount of attention on a guy that does a thing that happens literally all, all the, the fucking time. time. Yeah, he was like a and whipping boy it. for an entire industry. Right, and it's like, yeah. but. Wh- like why him what did he do his and face it's not his face it's that he pissed off everyone in fucking biotech prior to that uh-huh. because he was a finance guy that like made his money by shitting all over biotech startups mm-hmm. because he like taught himself a bit about chemistry or whatever mm-hmm. biology and so a company would be like we have this new you know he did it with a weight loss company you know, we had like a weight loss pill in clinical trials so he looked at the science and he's like oh yeah this isn't gonna fuck so me. he shorted so it so he publicly trashed the company shorted yeah. it and then also like like made complaints to the FDA so that the, the trials took longer and failed or whatever. Well, he's smart. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah no, he's definitely not a fucking idiot. He's yeah. like a very smart guy. What? But you know, so I, you know, if we had him on, I wouldn't even grill him about that shit because like I don't fucking care. You know. I mean, <laughs> well, if, there even is if he, another... even if he raises the price, people get that through insurance anyways. That's the point. Yeah. The point is that he's not really hitting the AIDS patients. He's hitting yeah. the insurance companies, and that's why there was a big wave yeah. of like anti sentiment. It's also, it's also yeah. sentiment. He's also a fucking piece of shit too and he's also a kid that got his ass kicked and called a faggot his whole life and he turned yeah, into yeah, a yeah. complete asshole yeah yeah um he's a south brooklyn what is he armenian or something yeah, yeah, no he's yeah. albanian because i make fun of elvis yeah. about it all the time yeah. <laughs> uh yeah you know i was just gonna have him on and then ask him non-sequitur questions i thought it'd be yeah. funny yeah, yeah, I, wanted yeah. to ask I mean i really just fucks. wanted to exploit him for for the audience you know well, well, play it like i don't even know who the fuck he is yeah yeah but uh but yeah, immediately he was being a dick about it. Yeah, um, yeah. F- well, but yeah, Martin, if you're listening, you're still welcome to come on the show. <laughs> We'd love to have you as a guest. But no, he was at some party last night, and then some girl was like posting like, "I ran into cutie pie, Martin Scrawley." <laughs> I forget who it was that posted it, and then she hashtag Rahoa, which is it stands for racial holy war. <laughs> Which is like yeah. a white it's supremacist like a, thing. Yeah, neo Nazi thing. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. I was just hoping that his, at his acceptance speech, Donald Trump would come out and there'd be like balloons and then Sam Hyde in, in a TED Talk <laughs> and costume weaves. behind him and weaves there and Pepe on like the unicycle. And they got me fucking, uh, yeah, Milo's there. They're just hanging. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Clinton Milo's Apogee. just getting <laughs> fucked in the ass. Yeah. Milo's getting fucked in the ass by a black guy. By Gavin. Yeah, by, Gavin. No, by a black guy. Milo and he's just shouting. Shouting the N word, yeah, and he's shouting the N word with each thrust. Black guy, thrust. black guy 
guy's got uh, the black guy's like uh, got like a diglet head, like the three diglet like that meme. So it's three black guys. And they're all kissing. Yeah, yeah, they're all kissing. <laughs> While uh, they fuck Milo in the ass. Yeah. <laughs> hey, he's savages. He's, he's just savaging my all ass. His, all his 4chan is just right behind him on the stage. He's like, we did it. We said it was going to be done. We did it. End of story. But what were we saying, though, at the, the speech? He's giving the oh, speech. Oh, yeah, he's giving the acceptance speech, and some guy's just like, Kill Obama! <laughs> Yeah, just yells, kill Obama. <laughs> the president, yeah. the sitting president of the United States. <laughs> Jesus Christ. We're fucked, man. <laughs> I hope Seth kills fucking Trump. You think Seth, so? No, Seth absolutely won't kill Trump. What's going to happen is... He's not brave. What's going to happen is, is uh, Seth's going to make it illegal, or Trump's going to make it illegal to criticize Donald Trump. And then Seth's immediately going to say, I was the first one to love Donald Trump. I, I'm, I love Donald Trump. I support everything that he does. And if he wants a list of friends that I have that have criticized him, I will happily fax that over to yeah. him immediately. Uh, you know, at cost, of course. I'm not paying for the Kinko's fee. Seth, mm. Seth is the kind of guy, Dick Field, by the way, not, uh, not anybody else. <laughs> yeah, the, the fictional character, Dick Field, is the kind of guy that would immediately sell Every single person he knew, <laughs> his own fucking mother. He's like uh, the Jews that were like the guards in the camps yeah. for the Nazis, the uh-huh. kapas. Yeah, yeah. Is there any way that did I those could guys be all the get dessert got? taster? <laughs> <laughs> did, those, did all the kapas get got? Um, or did they no, survive? They, like, save their own asses, really? By like, f- like they were in charge of making sure everyone was working. Yeah. Well, at the end, there's actually a movie about pra- him called uh, Schindler's Cock. <laughs> 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 yeah, they were just the bi- the biggest uh, tattletale pieces of shit. They were probably, uh, you know, the the dece- their descendants were probably part of the eighteen percent of Jews that voted for Donald Trump. You know, <laughs> oh yeah, dude, this shit is buck ass wild. I love that the Latin like the thir- what was it thirty six percent of Latino men voted for Trump. That's awesome. Hell yeah. Shout out to the 36. <laughs> Los 36. <laughs> Los 36. <laughs> Los 36. <laughs> <laughs> Mi chicones de 36. De, uh, del Trumpo. <clears throat> eh, 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 puta uno, dos, o tres. Uh, isn't, it, isn't it white women's fault, though? For real? Like, didn't they Yeah, vote? it's white women's fault. It's like Thank white God. people. It's white people. No, I'm glad not, it's dude. white It's fucking fault. Hillary's fault. You know what it's I mean. Hillary yeah, she was yeah, a of course, shitty, she, awful candidate. Yeah, but it's crazy that... If she lost that, white women. That women. Her <laughs> selfishness. It's literally her fucking selfishness is yeah. the reason that she... Because she was entitled. She thought she, she deserved it. She did fucking... Un- yeah. Like, yeah. her... So anything that happens uh, is her fault. Well, no. Her On stri- a personal level. Not her as a politician. <laughs> and Hillary Clinton as a fucking person that was like, it's my turn. It's some fucking old piece of shit rich woman. Yeah. That decided- she literally lost to a guy whose name was Hussein. Yeah. Like, yeah, a black yeah. guy, a black who'd guy who'd been did. in the Senate a year and a half. Yeah, yeah. What was it two and a half years? Or something? I think it was, was two, it four yeah. years. It no, was no. a full term. Well, I don't think it was. Uh, he won in two thousand four. Yeah, so it was yeah. four years. Okay, yeah, at that point. Okay, uh, he beat Alan Keyes. The, Hell yeah, yeah. Remember that dude? The other black guy. The other black Republican dude. <laughs> yeah. um, he was pretty funny. Yeah, there was Alan Keyes, then Herman, and now... Herman Cain. I mean, yeah, I was this wearing, really is like if Herman Cain won. <laughs> like <it's, laughs> no, well, I don't, well, yeah, Herman Cain also did sexually assault women. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, no, what were we talking about before that? No, no, Hillary... Um, oh, I don't know. She's a fucking bitch, dude. <laughs> Fuck that bitch. Yeah, I mean, it just... I'm I don't know. so mad. Ran a terrible campaign. Well, no, yeah, that was the thing, is that she... Okay, she had her convention, and then she disappeared, showed up on 9-11, passed out, showed up for three debates, and expected him to shoot himself in the dick. That was her strategy. Which it was just like, of, shut the fuck up. It's, yeah, exactly. Yeah, the, the thing I was thinking about earlier was like, what was like one policy plan that she put out? Like, Trump kept talking about the wall. And, like, he, at least he had some shit. He was talking mm-hmm. about trade agreements. There was some shit. Oh, no, she had shit. What was, was it? She, uh, the raising minimum wage to $7.26 an hour. <laughs> <laughs> that was a big one. No, um, she was, like, pushing f- uh, free public education. And she, she all basically Bernie shit. took all the Bernie shit, but everyone didn't believe her. Right, yeah, You right. know, everyone was like, That's, oh, yeah, right. That was and the then she was like, cool. NAFTA. The thing during the I didn't primary like that. Is when I had to keep hearing over and over again, like, well, Bernie's job is to, you know, bring Hillary. Hillary to the left, and it's like that'll be erased 
in yeah. fucking two months. Of course, and no one's gonna buy it. She's right. like, she's not a she's not a good actor. She can't sell that mm-hmm. shit. She's not like fucking slick Willie. I was Obama. saying, I just yeah. here's my personal hope is that for the rest of her fucking life, all of her shit continues to be hacked and put on WikiLeaks. <laughs> her as a private citizen, <laughs> all of her shit, or fucking her like calling customer service departments that's recorded and put online. <laughs> Although looking t- up directions, her medical records, I hope everything continues to be fucking hacked. But what? And then the FBI invests. Investigates it for some reason. <laughs> no, matter, no matter what, they just investigate. Just Comey after he leaves the FBI. He's <laughs> yeah, yeah, investigating yeah. it. I'm running a personal investigation. <laughs> he moves to Massachusetts, yeah. like lives in a cabin, only yeah. wears sweaters, and only investigates <laughs> Hillary. He's got like a big board, like with fucking yeah, yeah. pins in it and shit. This shit's crazy, though, dude. It, like, I feel like, shouldn't the Illuminati have stepped in? No. And that, that's like what's crazy is. Uh, oh, no, it's great, dude. They're repealing Dodd Frank. The Dow's up, dude. Yeah. yeah. Goldman oh, yeah. Sachs People is like going ahead. about, like, oh, the fucking the stock markets are going to tank. Just well, wait. No, no, it will tank once there's another bubble burst. Because of like wide deregulation, sure, yeah, that, yeah. Well, it's not gonna, it's not gonna. <laughs> but take it's not right like now. speculators and investors are, are worried that Donald Trump's gonna change anything. No, no. So no. it's fine. No, he's gonna make it better for them. Yeah, he's gonna repeal Do- like the only like which the limp. Don Frank doesn't even. Yeah, it's the bullshit. limp dick financial regulation that Obama was able to squeeze through which after sucks. George Bush literally destroyed the economy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that was so funny is how Obama came in and literally had so much political capital and couldn't do anything. Yeah. He passed a bullshit health care plan. He passed a bullshit stimulus package that only really didn't affect uh didn't affect labor, but it only affected capital. I, yeah. And you know, and he saved he saved uh, the auto industry by literally taking apart UAW, which is like one of the oldest unions in like mm-hmm. American like modern American history. But they're racist, so fuck them. What are you talking about, dude? They're auto workers. They're racist. And and he, fuck these crack ass white boys. <laughs> Any, um, any one of them for being any kind of racist, no matter what, I'll, I'll disagree with their politics and I'll vote against them. And <laughs> also, I will say this. This is a referendum on how shitty of a president Barack Obama was. Like, literally, if people felt like their lives are better than they were no, eight years ago. No, they weren't. No, no yeah, they, he they wasn't, aren't. No, he didn't do, they, what did he he do? didn't what did do he shit. Fucking, He's ACA, just cool. The ACA He's is just a cool. fuck up. You're right. But like, who? But are people's lives worse right now? Yes. Yes. Because yeah, after dude, immigration 08, got worse, yeah. fucking uh, he domestic spying programs got worse. Yes. The, uh, we're bombing seven different countries yeah. right now. Things got worse under Obama. Yes. But you know what? He is cool enough that even when I watch him speak, I'm like, ah, he's all right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. that's the difference is that like he's a celebrity. People are like, oh, uh, Hillary we would just be a celebrity with Hil- a celebrity. Yeah, Hillary would just be four more years or eight more years of Obama, and it's like. The only thing I liked about him was his personality. Was him. Yeah, yeah. And you know, like, oh, well, you just don't like her personality because you're sexist. Well, fuck it. Maybe. I mean, that's not true, but maybe it is. I don't want to fuck. Right, I shouldn't right, have to right. fucking. You know, uh, if it was a matter of hanging out with them, I shouldn't have to hang out with somebody I don't like. I don't right, want to have right, to right. listen to. Uh, 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 but it's not. Yeah, I mean, it's not. The, the sexism argument, sure, that's definitely a part of it. But it's also well, like, people do hate women. But that's it's also sure. yeah. But she's hate also. Women. She's not cool she's in any way. She's, she's, she's not sick. Yeah. She's like a yeah. fucking boring person to listen exactly. to. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. She's not trustworthy, which is evidenced by, you know, fact and also just fucking looking at her. She's not a fucking entertaining person or a trustworthy yeah. person to, to. She's not a people person. Right, yeah. And she's not a, like, she does, she's not cool. Like, she doesn't connect with people. And the people who she does connect with well, are whatever. Not. She's going to be put on the but mall and shot, and I'm going to be there, dude. <laughs> but I'm what? getting one of those tickets. I'm opening it's gonna for the be murder. You, <laughs> you and I'm all doing, those Chinese. I'm doing doesn't 20 Obama? minutes before the murder. Only on I'm gonna Star get Wars. The light at, I'm, I'm going to get the light at 15 minutes. I'm walking off at 17, and I'm counting at 20. I'm not even going to do my full time, because that's the kind of comic I am. Right? I do what I'm contractually obligated you to do. You respect the light. I fill the time. That's all I have to do, folks. I don't have to fucking make you laugh. That's not my job. <laughs> Doesn't Obama have high ass approval ratings and shit? Don't people like him? Because he's right cool. Now? Just because he's cool, you're right. Yeah, yeah, but they don't like their lives. I don't know, man. And yo, and honestly, like, yo, what's gonna happen to Medicaid? He's he's That's tried to know. Uh, they, they, uh, they'll probably um, gut. Uh, well, they're at least gonna immediately get Obamacare. rid of uh, of uh, the mandate that employers have to pay for reproductive. Um, yeah, right. right. Every all, the, girl, all the pussy medicines. All the right girls. The all the girls. Uh, Damn. All the cool uh, 
uh, girls are getting uh, what they call IUDs. IUDs right mm-hmm. now. I don't know if uh, and you know the, what the Medicaid expansions because Damn straight. the I'm Medicaid here. expansions those go to that's just mo- extra money that goes to the state to the state. Right, right, right. So if you're if you live in New York, you'll probably, probably be, okay. be okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, also, there's money that comes from the but state. But like I government. said, I just went to go see if I could get a fucking plan, and I can't. So the insurance, like the healthcare provider industry is already so fucked up because of the ACA's implementation because it fucked up in all these ways that economists said it would and caused problems. So even if they repeal it now, it's not like it bounces back to the way it was. Maybe you couldn't get healthcare because you're a bitch, though. Yeah, that's what it was. I forgot to uncheck yeah, the box. Yeah, you should uncheck that. <laughs> should male, female bitch. Yeah, yeah. yeah you so I, I checked big bitch. dick ass, have an ass motherfucker. Yeah, yeah. well, they can't. Ins- you, you can't, well, insure can't check. Uh, sir, we've Legally, detected, they can't check. We've detected how enormously fat your fingers were by the weight of the keys <laughs> pressing down. So, unfortunately, we're not going to be able to offer you any health care plan. But if you like, we have a, a, one of those uh, old bathing suits from the 1800s. <laughs> yeah. And a giant lolly. A and Cap that you can wear for funny pictures. <laughs> yeah, and that's pretty good actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a pretty good compromise. And we have and a carousel. <laughs> yeah. We have a little photo shoot we can do. I would fucking yeah. love that, dude. I would take that shit. Oh, Stavi, you uh, look so cute. Yeah, Thank there's, you. we have a diaper so and a sash that says New Year 1938. <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck, dude. What's Comey up to? Uh, he's he's got to be. He's got to be. He, I, I like that he's like basically turned into Gill in the last like month and a half. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, do you think the FBI gonna, just doesn't fuck with Clinton at all? Well, yeah, but the it's, spooks, uh, it's probably all the it's probably fuck with Clinton. Yeah, so the CIA, CIA loves, fucks yeah, with Clinton really. and the FBI fucks with Trump. Oh. Yeah, so there was like but sort of an there's internal not consistency, war going on. Th- there's not consistency Damn, throughout the FBI fucked. in terms of like you know who they support or whatever. Right, right, right. I mean, I, I, don't, I really don't think that Comey had any kind of particular partisan motivations there. He's I just think, a fucking idiot. I think his first misstep in the, uh, you know, during the last 10 months was when uh, they were investigating the email server and Clinton was repeatedly saying, it's not an investigation, this is not a criminal investigation, it's a security inquiry. And then Comey said, yeah, I don't know what the fuck she's talking about, we don't do security inquiries. Which, I don't understand why he said that. Right, I mean, right, right. obviously, you know... Well, it does seem like he was it, it fucking might, it shit was probably, up a little bit. No, it was political. probably annoying. He was definitely was fucking political. shit up. What, what do you mean? Uh, he, he, yeah, I think the reason he said it is because... It was political. He's just kind of jabbing a little bit. Like, he he can look incompetent while actually also I think, fucking... I think, honestly, it I actually think, I think fucked, his motivation, fucked the entire election. Yeah. For sure, for sure. I think his motivation yeah. was to protect the integrity of the FBI, whatever that means in his own fucking head. Right. When initially, you know, he made that statement because he doesn't want to look like the FBI is just some partisan bulldog. Uh, but, you know, by saying that, that's the that's what he does. He yeah. creates that perception that he is meddling. And so when he started meddling and then they had that long investigation I mean, yeah. and then that press conference, which is a stupid way to do it, but he already stuck his foot in his mouth three months prior. I mean, his the, the conceit of his statements at that press conference were that Hillary Clinton fucked up and she did break the law, but if an employee had broken the law, they would just be fired. So mm. since she's not in office right now, the result should be that she loses the election. And he, you know, more or less said that. Right, right, right. By reiterating over and over again that if, well, an, this if la- a government yeah. employee is going to be he lost his job. This last shit though, with the, the they had no new shit, no no new info. And I mean, that was he's going to be in fucked. charge of the new Trump KGB Stasi <laughs> or whatever you yeah. the state police. He's going to congratulations, James. Comey. What do you think, a Trey Gowdy? Attorney General, is that going to happen? Jesus, they said Rudy. That would be terrifying. They said Rudy G. Fucking Christ. They're going to be some psychos in charge of Shkreli. Is probably going to get Securities (laughs) Exchange Commission. Yeah, yeah. (laughs) Oh fuck, Cutie Martin Shkreli. Omarosa is going to work for the for the White House. Uh, Omarosa. (laughs) They're going to kill Michelle Obama and replace her with (laughs) Omarosa. Oh yeah, and Chris Christie as a person. By the way, Chris Christie won. It worked out. Yeah, Yeah, he's going to keep. He's going to keep. His life isn't over. It should have been. Well, who knows? His two top shit. Whatever Trump will give, have the fucking judges killed. <laughs> he'll get the U.S. You know, attorneys that's, like that's really the, the he's gonna put fucking concrete this, shoes on the U.S. Is that, is that it proves that people don't get killed? No. Well, like we'll if, see. If somebody was gonna if Anthony Weiner should have been killed, right? He should. He if if Hillary yeah, kills yeah, people, yeah, yeah. she would have killed Anthony, Anthony Weiner six Wiener months ago. Killed. Yeah. Um, 
I, I mean, like he fucked up the whole world. It, Anthony it, Weider ruined the world. But it, it might be too, if they're going to kill Trump, if they're going to kill him, they would use you know obviously a patsy or whatever. Right. Yeah. Yeah. But Trump is also the kind of guy that just gets murdered by psychos. Right. Right. That's yeah, yeah. the exact personality. Like the type. guy that cl- climbed the tower. Like the kid who who climbed Trump Tower. Uh, who was like a, just a, a fan. retarded boy and uh, yeah. <laughs> who's in Gilbert Grape? But he was, he was a big fan. He did yeah. it as a fan, right? Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. That's awesome. He loved Trump, and he's like, "I have to have a meeting with you immediately at Trump Tower. That's why I'm going to be uh, yeah. climbing the tower. So I I will uh, see you there at a, a Trump Tower. You saw the video, right? Yeah, yeah and Trump and he was couldn't in, like, make eye contact with it, the camera. Yeah, but I mean, like so you know, like, like Huey Long, uh, John Lennon. Uh, Reagan, right. Kennedy, Ooh. like they're the kinds yeah. of people that get murdered by, by well, crazy people. if anyone's listening to the podcast that might be a little crazy, Jodie Foster will be so impressed. <laughs> but the thing is, you. Mike Pence will then be president. Oh no, Mike, Pre- <laughs> Pence, Mike Pence is going to be president. He is already. That's president. how you know that there's going to be murder, like there's secret murders if somebody assassinates Mike Pence. Yeah, yeah, yeah. instead of Trump. Yeah. Ooh. Here's the thing: is like Mike Pence is scarier because he is he believes all the crazy. He's shit. not incompetent. He's a competent psycho. Yeah. And yeah. Donald Trump's an incompetent psycho. Yeah, yeah. And the thing is, it's, it's going oh, to be a mainstream Bush style Republican administration. It's going to be Heritage Foundation and fucking the yeah. All these never Trump motherfuckers guy. are now like, hey, you know what? Yeah. We believed in him all well, along. Well, they're going to team up with the fucking these the Democrats that have no idea what to do. Yeah, fucking ben be a, Shapiro, yeah, they'll, dude. All, all, they'll all be absorbed into you know a new damn dude, this shitty shit centrist sucks. party, dude. Uh, also, um, shout out to all the cum boys we met last night. They were everyone's really cool and nice. Yeah, there's met. not enough jokes on this episode, Sorry. I guess. So uh, I guess uh, fucking uh, we should probably talk about all these new. Uh, Apple laptops <laughs> just came out. Touch ball. Have we talked about this for three episodes in a row? I want to know. Is, how, how, do you, how do you get some pornography on the, the touch screen ball? Uh, yeah, I got enough titties on the screen here. I'm saying you put the titty on the screen, maybe you put the pussy down on the touch bar. The clit area. It's training. I think it would be very funny to, to the, the visual of someone on the subway watching hardcore pornography on an Apple watch. Mm. Like just with, just with his wrist like across his eyes, just making noises. Yeah. Everyone on the train just like it would be oh, awesome to check your yeah. watch. It's just someone getting fucked in the ass. Oh, no, well, yeah. just an up close shot. I of see a what pussy. time it is. She sucked my dick. <laughs> I don't know how it happened. happened. Uh, Whoa, that's good guess. What else yeah, do we have? Good timing on that. Um, um, none of this is choreographed. None of it's planned. Absolutely. Uh, that's not. the point of the Trump election. That's why it's a win for Cumtown yeah. because <laughs> yeah. the nerd that went to Yale Law and yeah. was Secretary of State you and know was what? Senator I, from New York it, it's, and it's, had all the experience of the world fucking lost and the guy that did, you know didn't even Hillary, study for the yeah. test one. Hillary versus Trump uh, boils down to improv versus stand-up. <laughs> Donald Trump is stand-up comedy. Hillary Clinton is improv. Oh, wow. I, I think most of what he was no, doing no, was I, improv. I, I, I think I'm serious about I, that. I, I know what you're Donald saying. Donald Trump is a guy that just can riff yeah. And it might not seem fleshed out, but he's funny and people are laughing at him. Everybody's, you know, they got two drink minimum. They're drunk. They love him. Yeah. Hillary Clinton is like, oh, you know, it's the system, or whatever. But you have a fucking, yeah, system. There's a specific way you apply. You're not naturally funny. Right. And, uh, and, and you're your also, parents. You're also covering up a shit ton of rapes while pretending <laughs> like you, you're, you aren't. There you go. That's. Whereas Buckets. Donald Trump just Buckets. gets drunk and grabs uh, some waitress's <laughs> pussy. That's Damn. not stand-up comedy, baby. Yeah. Nick, Nick, that was like when Steph Curry, when Steph Curry just pulls up from 40. <laughs> yeah. Nick, that was a thing of beauty. I can't even laugh. That was That's so good. That's really fucking, oh. yeah. Oh, well, it's the truth. That's Fuck, what man. It is. She was covering up the hella so rapes. Many yeah. rapes. <laughs> nah, dude. Hillary is UCB. <laughs> An unelectable cunt brigade. <laughs> unelectable cunt <laughs> Fuck, man. Are we going to get arrested for talking shit about Trump? Should we enlist? No, dude. Uh, first of all, everyone who listens to this can read through the lines and they know I'm actually a Nazi and I support <laughs> Donald Trump. Yeah, me too. I all play other Jewish is- character on this <laughs> yeah. show. Some people caught on yeah. to that. People a lot of people realize. don't know that I'm just doing Adam. Yeah. I'm able to do <laughs> yeah. both voices at once. Yeah, that's true. I can actually sing at two different <laughs> octaves. Mm-hmm. 
Uh, mm-hmm. I do stop too. This is a one man operation. Yeah. In real life, mm-hmm. I'm from Greenwich, Connecticut. Okay. <laughs> and da- and father bought me all this podcasting equipment. <laughs> and you know, we were sum- summering in Kenny Bunkport, Maine, and I decided Yo, I'm you, to start a podcast. You think he's just gonna give his sons jobs? Of like course. The, no, like, no, no. They're going to run the business and he's going to yeah. steal from the government and like benefit the business. I love how like, he's going to get impeached. Uh, two weeks ago, his people being like, Michelle 2020. And the truth is going to be like Donald Trump Jr. <laughs> <Yeah>. 2020. <laughs> no, Ivanka. <laughs> yeah, Ivanka 2020. Dude, Ivanka like literally abandoned the campaign two weeks ago and now he won. Yeah. His mm-hmm. own daughter didn't think he was going to yeah. win. Dude, in the beginning of the night, people I were leaking I always shit. Forget. It was like. People were trying to jump off. They're like, yeah, we think we're getting our asses handed to us. <laughs> Everyone's polls just like, Jesus we're Christ. wrong. Yeah. Damn, dude. Well, Nate, Nate Silver, Silver sort of got it right. Really? Nate Silver was the uh, at the end of the day. And you know, that's you know who a- else said it? Michael Moore. Yeah. Unfortunately. Michael Moore, who's now turning into uh, a TED Talk. And here's talk. why Michael Moore got it right. Because he's actually from fucking Flint and yeah. he knows people who are voting for Trump. Yeah. I was like, you know, I'm seeing people on Facebook today. They're like... Yeah, especially in like the backlash to people uh, uh, saying that it's you know Bernie or whatever, or you know pe- people that are mad at people like me for saying that Bernie would have won, right. which he would have. Bernie would have won. <laughs> Bernie would have. Hillary didn't win objectively. That's true. She fucking lost. Bernie would have won. So the, they're saying like, oh, Bernie wouldn't have fucking won. They wouldn't elect a a Jew. You think that all the, a party that ran on racism, which you know in their minds, I guess every single person mm-hmm. who voted for Donald Trump, the only only thing they liked about him is that he was racist one <laughs> yeah. percent of well, the yeah, time. Yeah, and he was also speaking. so many of those people voted for Obama. Oh, and what are you talking? Oh, yeah, exactly. exactly. And, and then, voted for Obama. And what well, you, you can't were saying say the car, racism. Yeah. <laughs> now, the first guy who did racist yeah, dog yeah, Goldwater was, was the Jewish, Jewish Jewish Jew <laughs> Barry Goldwater, dude. I don't think he was Jewish. <laughs> he was Jewish. He was ethnically Jewish. He wasn't Jewish. Yeah, he was. <laughs> Barry Goldwater was actually the first. Uh, the first Jew uh, uh, elected in a uh, in a in a primary was he? Yeah, well, yeah. He was. You got to take it. You got to take. Know. There him have been dude. a lot of embarrassing Jews in government. Oh, he's Joseph Lieberman. He was pretty. Eric funny. Cantor. Oof, that haircut. Debbie Wasserman Schultz. Ugh. Oh, yeah, die. they would have never elected Bernie. Yeah, <laughs> uh, but they elected all these other Jews that are in the campaign. Yeah. Um, I think. Honestly, the best thing George Bush ever did was well, keep Joe Lieberman I from guess being vice president. <laughs> my point with all that <laughs> so embarrassing. My point with all that is that like they're completely out of touch with the people that did vote for Donald Trump. You can sit back and say, "Oh, I can't believe that America actually turned out to be racist," and it's like you have no communication. Well, with these something people. else yeah. I heard today. I don't know if this is true or not. It's probably true. Is that <laughs> local news reporting? Like the budgets have been slashed so much, so like the only places where there really are journalists is, are on the coast, and they are completely out of touch with what's happening yeah. in the country. Right, right, I right. think that's what we found is that yeah. the media doesn't well, know what's happening. That's in this what country. blows my mind is all these fucking comics I meet that are talking about like, well, I want to work on this pilot. They're sort of about it, like gentrification. It's like you realize that. 90% no. of America doesn't even know what that means. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> they have no fucking idea. And that, like, the, there are some things that are kind of like LGBT, because gay people exist everywhere. everywhere. But there's social issues that are specifically bound to the coasts and urban environments that you, like, shut the fuck up. Yeah. That's not a thing. Yeah. Microaggressions? <laughs> How are you going to microaggress somebody when your neighbor lives fucking, you know, uh, four miles down the road? <laughs> yeah, dude. I mean, I don't know. You can shit with the door open. They'd never find out. Yeah, these... It just really does come down to, though, like, just, like, there was no, like, all these people, they're fucking, they're not making any money, their jobs, like, what you were saying, manufacturing jobs and shit are gone, and mm-hmm. there was the oh, the two candidates, one is, like, loves fucking, you know, loves trade agreements, love all, loves all this shit, is the establishment, fucking Goldman Sachs, whatever. Her husband was yeah. in charge of NAFTA, I mean, like. And, and yeah, Donald Trump's her message. Her last name. He's saying that it's like, oh, it's fucking immigrants and it's fucking other countries that's the problem. Yeah. And she just doesn't even say anything about it. I mean, that's, of course they're going to fucking. Also, in you know. the larger, like, macro scale. The wall is significant because this is what's going to be happening more and more in the next 50, 100 years is that there are going to be parts of the world that are uninhabitable, whether it's because they're underwater or because of wars Damn. and stuff. Yeah. And Syria... That is the other scary gonna shit. To, is like, we're going to need to take millions of people and move them on the planet, right? And in Western Europe, in the United States, there are all these Trump-style nativist, chest-pounding, right, right, right. like, ooga-booga fucking, like, liberal-ass... Or, sorry... uh, 
like conservative like xenophobic ass xenophobic ass, ass yeah. like like maniac groups popping up and <clears throat> it's going to become more and more common the fact i think the only way to really combat it personally is Still. i think socialism i think like actually having a a, a viable alternative um we that, have to, or that we can fuck up, their or we fuck their women or or we take the hot <laughs> yeah no tricks. really the only answer is colonialism we have to go into the Middle East, kill all those people, rape all their women, <laughs> make them comport to our ideological yeah. values, and then let them duke it out with the you know the same kind of partisan politics that we've had for you, the last uh, two hundred years or so. You're seeing walls sprouting up not only here but in a lot of other places. Israel, for instance, there's a wall with the West Bank. You know, Israel's a fascist uh, ethnocracy, and you know they do fine. They got Hooters there. The U.S. could be like Israel. They have a booming tech industry. No. They have cafes, <laughs> yeah, and that's they true. commit genocide every day. So I don't understand why that's <laughs> such a bad place to be. <laughs> I agree, dude. Yeah, I think we're geez, on Louise, dude. Jeez, Adam just Louise. shook his yeah, head yeah. in agreement. Hey, you I get up in the morning, <laughs> have some hummus, and then uh, kill a, ch- a baby. <laughs> <laughs> no, you do like that's like German. That's more. German. I don't know how to do. It. No, they it's sound French. like oh. uh, the French people. That no, do, yeah. it's like uh, of course uh, we wake up and the, the, the Palestinians uh, are trying to kill us uh, every day. So uh, what we do is uh, we uh, we strap on uh, military clothes and the uh, hot girls with uh, big tits uh, put on <laughs> they put on the military clothes and they uh, take M sixteen and you don't understand how hot it is to do girl doggy style. <laughs> <laughs> While she has an M16 pointed at the terrorists <laughs> that are throwing that are throwing rocks at you, they are doing terrorism with rocks, with uh, just pebbles. Uh, like, I saw uh, I saw a little boy uh, walk past a pebble, so I picked him up and put him in my microwave. <laughs> Now Jeez. he is with the hummus. We <laughs> ate him and drank his blood, <laughs> but it uh, was not uh, like Christian blood. Uh, uh, not there are plenty. Delicious. There are plenty of. <laughs> there are plenty of very good folks. We like to have a little anti-Semitic fun on this podcast. <laughs> there are plenty of good people who live in Israel. In my family, yeah, yeah they're called Palestinians. <laughs> Folks. All right. <laughs> Your parents don't listen to podcasts. You can't just I steal called, land. I called my parents today. Yeah. I called them. We spoke for the first time since they found out about Comic-Con. Oh, yeah. What did yeah. they say? Yeah. They, I thought that they would be losing their minds because honestly, my parents were right. They were like, no one's taking Trump seriously. They were going nuts. Yeah. Right. And then they could start saying, I'm Trump and I, it's my fault, you know, like all this stuff. And I called complete calmness. They're so true. Really? Yeah. Because we operate. Like the time where we're most calm is crisis mode. Mm. Whenever th- when you things- say we, what do you mean? I, I'm talking it's Jesus. Jesus. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. When, when the plots- people in my family, particularly, like whenever times are good, we're just waiting for the next crisis. Yeah. But it, whenever there's a crisis, then we're like, oh, yeah. That's fine. the thing is like culturally, I feel like the Bush years were great, and that is an extension of the whole like, well, is it comedy going to be better? But I think, and I, th- I do think it has more to do with like post nine eleven America. Wait, you're a big like Limp Biscuit fan? What, yeah. what do you mean? Culturally? Actually, yeah, actually, yeah. If we're gonna fucking be honest about it, Limp Biscuit is rolling, baby. Severely overrated, <laughs> and it became this like under laughing, or over uh, underrated. Sorry. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> sorry, I meant underrated. But they fucking no people. They became this like fun band to shit on because you know I guess no, they're, they, they're no, they're not, dude. They're, they're bad. First of all, rap rock as a genre is dog shit. Yeah. But, but for them to yes. come out of that, I think no, Significant Other is a great album. This Nick is was really the, into the most hilarious trolling you've ever. Nick done was in your really life. into. I'm it. serious. I, I can pull up Apple Music right now. I actually listen to Significant Other maybe You're five or six such times. Such a in the last fucking six asshole. Yeah, dude. <laughs> Nick went to Ozfest 2003 and saw uh, corn, corn, yeah. KMFDM, uh, uh, Power Man 5000, yeah. uh, fucking Afro Man was there. Yeah, just Vertical Horizon, Pennywise. Do you remember that Pennywise. band? Pennywise. Yeah, no. maybe that was Warped Tour. They were a Warped Tour band. Yeah, uh, I went to HFS. Now rap rock sucks. Rage, literally, Rage Against the Machine. Cottonmouth Kings. Oh, dude, Cottonmouth Kings suck. They were the dude, absolute. What about POD? Like, they were like Christian. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, that uh, shit sucks. Lit. My dick. Yeah, it's lit. P P O D probably got paid fucking good off that one song that was on every movie trailer about yeah, what snowboarding. Was, what was that? Song? I feel so alive. Yeah, yeah. Like every time, like the, like yeah. just a dude doing a flip on his 
That yeah. was like in every saw, single movie trailer. I saw a homemade music video of that song made by some kid that had like, you know, it was scene hair before it was emo hair. Yeah, yeah I remember. Hair before it was yeah. scene hair. And he's like flipping his hair and he's wearing a leather jacket, but he had spina bifida. Uh-huh. So it was all these like black and white shots like zooming in and out of him. But he's just propped up against a tree. Oh, yeah. Jesus and Christ. And he's like, you know, singing along to I the... I feel so and, uh, yeah, and it's like, you're literally not. Your spine is is leaking out of your bones. That song meant a lot to him. Uh, Yeah, and then I could never find it again. I wanted to... Well, dude, uh, you, you know, know what song laugh to, with him. You know what song I'm going to go find that video to laugh with that guy. You know what song from that era I thought was legit good? What song? Um, the fucking Spider Man song with the lead singer Chad N- Kroger. Yeah, and they say that a hero yeah, will save fuck me. Us. Well, We were laughing about all those Superman songs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're, oh, yeah. I can't stand yeah, yeah. to fly. If you yeah, just I'm suck my dick, I'm fucking Superman, but I'm fucking crazy. Superman. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Superman. <laughs> and you better fuck me. That the first but one, I'm gay. the yeah. five for fighting yeah, was, one yeah. was like the 9/11 yeah. worker at yeah. Ground Zero theme song. They were like, "We fucking love this song because like I'm like a Superman here being in 9/11 <laughs> and saving people." So like, yeah, it really speaks to me. Sorry, I should have made fun of. Those yeah, heroes. why are you making fun of first responders, of heroes, dude? dude? They're literally the only people we respect on this podcast is the 9/11 first responders, but only if they were men and they were from Staten Island. Mm. Yeah, of course. <laughs> You know, if you're one of these fucking, you're one of these women that came from, you know, uh, Connecticut or whatever. Ooh, me too. I want to help too. It's like, yeah, second responders. We got many here. We got Staten Island fellas. Nothing gets me. Taking care of these towers. (laughs) (laughs) Nothing gets me quite as hot as a fucking 9-11 second responder. Yeah. Pieces of shit. Oh, uh, yeah. fuck. You went, there, you went there on D-Day. You take those fucking medals off. Whoa, you're hot. You're hot, Nick. You're getting hot. Yeah, sorry. I get a little <coughs> heated. I'm, I was actually... Would you uh, still fuck me I was, actually, I was uh, straight and Superman? You know, I don't want to steal valor here, but uh, <laughs> I'm a Navy SEAL and I was one of the 9-11 first responders. <laughs> <laughs> That's a strange way to preface that statement. Yeah. <laughs> Wait... I don't want that to that 100% wanna... true statement. <laughs> Wait, you were telling me that story about how you ran up to the top floor <laughs> while the towers were smoldering. You scaled it, actually. Dude, and, the tower, and then you the ran tower, back down and you realized you forgot the, a kid yeah, upstairs. I'm, I'm telling right? you, I was up there and I was on floor 101. Whoa. That's right where the plane hit. Yeah, yeah. And uh, I was going to the, the uh, water fountain. I was sucking water up with my mouth and I was blowing it all over the flames. <laughs> and I could feel the building start to collapse. So I'd reach up and i put my hand yeah, on yeah, the yeah. ceiling. On the ceiling. Oh, wow. And I held the building up, the <laughs> the top part of the building. That makes sense. Yeah, and for it, like engineering until wise, yeah. everyone got out of the building. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then on uh, floor one hundred and one. Yeah, on yeah. Floor you saved like five thousand people. Six hundred and eighty-two million. <laughs> <laughs> A rough estimate is what they. On, that was what was printed on the medal I got from the president. <laughs> When I met with the president, yeah, we went to uh, Melting Pot, and then he let me drive my car in the driveway. Melting. Let me drive his car in the driveway afterwards, and uh, <laughs> she's a guy that a guy that lies about being a 9/11 first responder, but he does it like a four year old. Yeah, and then me and my friends we went to laser tag after, but they used actual lasers, so we actually killed uh, like four or five kids on the other team, but our team won. We got free burritos after because they use actual lasers. It's a special laser tag place <laughs> and then we went bowling my dad knows the bowling guy so we were allowed to like slide down the bowling alley <laughs> and then my house actually has a slide in it that goes we have that money room from uh, uh ducktales <laughs> there's actually yeah well my dad's actually an assassin okay folks well we're winding well, down here first podcast of the trump era i think mm-hmm. it was okay uh, yeah, hail Trump. Matt was like concerned about that last. Yeah, he's like, Chopo's done. Yeah. We're done. Yeah. We're just gonna we, if we if Trump is the president, we're just gonna become the he's fucking like, Daily Show. Everyone's <laughs> gonna be mad at us. It's like people are already mad at you, dude. Yeah, yeah, it's their fault. It's Chopo's fault. Yeah. Tr- Trump won that podcast. It's a <laughs> podcast fault. It's a uh, Kumia and Chopo's <laughs> fault. No one, not not the fault of. Uh, the shitty candidate that illegally kept a child pornography server in her house. <laughs> that is 
what she was doing. Yeah, that's why she I just loves. loved all those people that were like the it's Satan like, thing. The people that are doing the math. Yeah, it's like why the fuck? And that is a legitimate concern. Is like the private email or whatever. But why do you have to introduce this like it's satanic child yeah, 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 rape? Yeah. And it's I like, know. like, do you know it's what like Karina like, Abramovich is saying? It's like she's a performance star. Everyone knows yeah. she's a performance star. She does weird shit. It's not weird that she smeared a bunch of blood on the walls. It would be weird if she was having a Tupperware party. <laughs> right, right. Yeah, that would be right. that would be bizarre. Be yeah. If they were going to a, that might sound like code. Yeah. But yeah, I'm having a party where we smear shit on the walls, and it's like, yeah, that's pretty much par for. Course, that's performance right? art that's just what yeah, it yeah. is yeah. well that yeah it's like sh- you don't think it's not enough to, for the secretary of state to maybe have fucking leaked some emails because she's using a certain you know what i mean like that's bad well yeah you'd be surprised how many people in this country believe in ghosts and believe in like the <laughs> devil and believe in that yeah. kind of shit i think that shit kind of works that's there were crazy. a bunch of like tweets and stuff that's like oh hell no i don't play with no, i don't play with that devil shit <laughs> Yeah, black people, I'm not voting black for that people bitch. totally think ghosts are real. You know how easy it is to scare black people? <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding, folks. <laughs> you were doing the voice. I responded to it. Well, I was it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, fuck. It was well, my fault. Anyway, well, everyone, guys. this is probably one of the last come towns before we get... Uh, we just changed the name to Trump. Yeah, Trump we're, uh, we're gonna have Kurt Metzger on. I think. Well, actually, me and Stav are gonna do a special road show for the premium episode this month. Me and him got a little bit of business to take care of. What the hunt? Uh, oh yeah, we gotta talk. Yeah, let's. Talk yeah, now nah, we got shit we gotta go do. All right, we got a guy we gotta see about a thing. <laughs> if you know what I mean, <laughs> folks. Me and Stav uh, transport uh, weapons uh, <laughs> down the eastern seaboard, <laughs> and I'm being 100 percent serious about that. So, uh, if you're excited about the upcoming revolution, you want to buy a gun? Yeah. Uh, Just I got text a, us. I have a 3D printer that can pr- print lower receivers for both AK-47s and fully automatic uh, M16s. And um, pocket pussies. And right? pocket pussies. Yeah. <laughs> I tried doing that as a bit when those came out. Yeah, obviously that's yeah. the first thing you think to make. Well, no, my, the bit I was Something doing is fuck. like, they say they got these 3D printers now that can print pocket pussies and guns. And it's like, well, if you print a gun, why the fuck would you print that? You just get a real pussy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> why print the pocket pussy? That's a, that's a good bit that's about a, Yeah, I did that at UCB rape. East, and that did not go over <laughs> yeah. well. Didn't it do so yeah. hot to... Um, <clears throat> all right. Well, thank you for listening, everyone. Is that how we doing on yeah, time, no, boys? We're done. That's right. the episode. Hail Trump. Hail Satan. Uh, Hail we're, Satan. This is the number one punk rock podcast, the official Donald <laughs> Trump podcast, the official Martin <laughs> Shkreli podcast. Uh, uh, officially three Puerto Rico by NPR. Uh, copyright, 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 trademark. Doing business incorporated <laughs> LLC. <laughs> Uh, big like big time some, international big, business. Yeah. <laughs> big time. Me and Cyber Lava we go to the LLC. It's like, and yeah, and I want dollar signs through the L's. <laughs> yeah. like, no yeah. yeah. Legally, it has to just be LLC. <laughs> yeah. nah, 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 But dollar signs, though. <laughs> dollar signs, though. Uh, fuck. All right. Well, good night, folks. Right.